What's up, y'all? It's your boy K back with another video, and today we doing mobile work today, actually. So I'm about to show you guys in this video how to replace an engine motor mount bracket. This is on the 2005, like 2006 Mazda 6 with the three liter V6 motor. So we out in the hood. So if y'all hear extra crazy stuff in the background, it is what it is. But you guys, so here we go. Here is the V6 motor right here. So let me just show you what's actually broken. So this right here is the motor mount right here. And this right here is the piece that the motor mount sit on, which is the motor mount bracket. And as you can see, the bolts actually broke off in there. As you can see, it's actually 100% broken. So we need to replace the actual bracket here and maybe the motor mount itself. So we got to take off the coolant tank, which is a few 10 millimeters. We got to move that out the way. Then we probably got to take off the actual motor mount itself which is right here. It looks like it's maybe like a 15, like three of them. And then maybe a 10 for this side and like a seven for that one, seven or eight. So now we got that out the way. You could just sit it out the way, just like that right there. So now we got, this is the motor mount itself. So. As you can see it's really not that bad it do get a little room to it we go test out the new one to see if we need to replace it but it look like it's a bolt right here right here then another one in the back like down there need to take those off real quick to get it off oh and it, probably like this eight here too on this negative terminal so we actually finna just test out the new one real quick just to see like if it got play Here's the part number if you need it. But if it got play, we good. If it don't get play, we probably just go replace it. It is right here. And it ain't got no play. So more than likely it needs to be replaced. We just go replace it for them. So you go see, yeah. Okay. You go see, uh, the motor kind of raised up a little bit, so now you can easily get to it. Okay. And then there's two down at the bottom one right there. You gonna be able to get to them? One right there. Yeah. You have to take that pulley off to do it though. All right, so once you get these out right here, it's one right here, I bagged it out so you can see it. And then you gotta take this pulley off to get to the last one. It's kind of tucked back there. Oh, you gotta take the pulley off. But it's like down there somewhere. So you gotta take your half inch drive, put it into the tensioner and like uh, move towards the cabin. So you can take the tension off the belt and just release it. Just move it underneath the pulley. That's what I did there. So I can expose the boat a little bit more. Once you take it off, you will see the last one, which is kind of like right there. So you see, I bagged it out a little bit so you can see right there. It's literally right there. So this hole is where the pulley go. And then this one is where, the, where it's high in the last one. So this one and the one at the bottom, you just pull these two out. Then the bracket should come off after you take the two sevens or eight millimeters off one right there, one right here. All right, so it finally came out. Here it go right here. You can see the top part. So, gotta replace it. And with this one. So we take it and literally just sit it right back in place and just tighten it up. If you put all the boats back, you got those, you got that one, and you got the two right here, one, two. Then you can take your pulley, which is a 15. 
go ahead just sit it back in place right there and uh tighten it down and once we tighten that down then we can take the belt and slip it back over all right so now we got to take the the belt and slip it on top so you go take your half inch and just put it put it in place probably got to lift the motor up so to be honest all right, so you got to lower the motor to uh get it in place because the screw right here is in the way that bolt right there on the back side so once you lower it you just push it towards the firewall and then you just lift it up i ain't gonna be able to record it because i need both hands but i'm about to show you what it looked like afterwards so basically take it push it this way and then use your other hand to lift that belt over the pulley all right so this is what it's gonna look like you see it sitting on the pulley real good so basically that's what it's gonna look like right there that and take these put them back in place I'll go right there the other one go right here 15 mil and uh tighten it first just get them started we take this sit it back here take these off and just line it up just like that but as you can see this hole has to line up back there so let me try to push it in place i can't uh hold the camera In order for it to line up, just jack up the car a little bit more, the motor actually, and it should line up. Then you take your uh, your boat. No. I believe this washer here goes on there. So just like this. And you go ahead and just tighten it down. And then don't forget about the nuts that goes on here as well. So if you don't have a deep enough socket, you could just use the wrench right here to tighten that last one. And then you should be, should be good to go. Everything else should be tightened up. I already took the jack up out of there. Do not jack this thing up with just a jack. It's a piece of wood up under here that I used. Don't just put that directly on a oil pan without wood because you can mess it up. So now we just have to put back the cooling tank and everything else, as you can see, it's level now. It was slanted like that, now it's level. So we should be good. Go ahead, put the coolant tank back and tighten it down. It goes underneath the AC hose. Good to go. Uh, taking it on a test drive real quick. So basically, I just showed you guys how to do um, Pretty much the motor mount but the motor mount bracket as well for the 2005 2006 mazda 6 so that's pretty much how you do it it is hot today guys i'm sweating bullets but it is what it is as you can see we in the projects for sure but home sweet home but uh so far it's looking good we don't hear any noise i'm pretty sure the motor is still level so and i saved her some cheese 
we didn't really have to do the mount we just have to do the bracket so she could save her some money so uh with that being said thanks for watching stay tuned to the next video and i'll see you next time